Hi everyone and welcome to this Pick A Card reading. So the topic for this Pick A Card reading is stagnant connections, what's going on and what's coming next. So I'm going to do three groups for this Pick A Card and we're really going to look into, you know, what is causing the stagnation in this connection? Is there going to be movement in the future and just really get as much depth as we possibly can? Now like I said, I'm going to do three groups. So the first group is going to be Black Obsidian. The second group is going to be Rough Citrine. And the third group is Rough Clear Quartz. So take a moment to pick either which crystal or which number you are drawn to. Here are the three different crystals. So when you know which one that you want to watch, find the timestamp in the description box below and skip ahead to your reading. Um, now, for this reading, I am going to be using the Rider Waite deck, and I'm also going to be using my Blunt Truth messages to get a message from it um, to get more detail. So, those are the two decks I'm using. If you want to buy my Blunt Truth deck, you can do so on my Etsy store, and I also have the expansion pack for Lust Edition with our sexual messages, so you can find that one there as well. Any questions at all, just drop me an email at readings at sacredspace.co.uk. But when you are ready, let's go and watch your reading. Okay, group one. So you guys chose this black obsidian, um, or you were drawn to the number one. Now let's see why is this connection stagnant. There's just no communication here. This person's like could be come excuse me, this person could be completely ignoring your messages or they might have even blocked you. Um, yeah, we've got the devil. So this connection had a lot of codependency. I feel like there was um, some real toxicity within this connection. Like one, the other one would be distant, then it would swap. That devil energy, it's not anything bad, but it just feels like there was so many attachments, it felt restrictive. So... Um, you know, why is this connection stagnant? Because there's still a lot of healing to do. There's still a lot of breaking free of the attachments. Maybe someone here is healing an addiction. It could be that this other person or maybe yourself does have some kind of addiction that they need to address before they can even be in like a healthy connection. So let's clarify this devil. The Five of Swords. This is a big battle. I feel like there is a huge mental battle going on with one of you or maybe both of you. Um, someone here is definitely fighting an addiction. I feel that very strongly. I feel this person is um, maybe having difficulty at work. Perhaps they're in a toxic relationship themselves. Maybe they, this is drugs or drink. Um, there's something that they are very codependent with. And it means that they are not able to explore this connection fully. It means that they're feeling just really quite stuck. They've got their own battle on their hands. And it means that they cannot give to you. Look, this person has had to, you know, walk away from you because they almost feel like they're, they're destroying this. They're destroying you. This person believes that they are not good enough for you. They're not what you need at this moment. And... I think there's some truth to that. I think this person has some issues which aren't healthy and, you know, they could have been taking this out on you or perhaps you were so much in your process. So, you know, this was not going down a healthy path. This was not going to be um, a good relationship for either of you. You know, you both... You know, had some things to work on. But let's see what's going on now because this could have been in the recent past. So what's going on now? Two of Wands, but we've got the Three of Cups in reverse. So currently, this person is doing lots of decision making. They're doing lots of maybe like traveling and exploration. With the Two of Wands, this person wants to be free. They want to find the balance in their life again. They're thinking about their future. They're thinking about where they want to go to next, who they want to be. So the good news is I do feel this person has done a lot of healing since you both separated or parted ways, but it doesn't mean that they're ready for dating. This Three of Cups in reverse, this person is not looking 
at love, at relationships. You know, they're really focused on their own journey. They don't necessarily want to engage with another person. Three of cups in reverse, like this person is not dating at all. They are like so closed off to the idea. I don't know if this person's experienced a lot of trauma around relationships, but yeah, they're just like, this isn't going anywhere. I, I can't, I still can't give to another person right now. So they're making decisions for themselves and they're looking ahead at their own life. This person knows that they still have healing to do. They don't want to avoid this healing. So I feel like this is still really good news because this person is fully immersed in their own spiritual journey and making the healthy decisions for themselves. And they have acknowledged that they have to do this whilst being single. They have to do this on their own. In the past, they may have relied on you for a lot of support, but they just don't want to do that anymore because they see how it affects you. They see how it hurts you. And it could even be that you hold it over this person. It might be that where you have helped, you then kind of rub it in their face a little bit later on and say like everything I've done for you you don't do anything for me and they're like well that's not fair you know my position you know that I can't do anything right now so it's as if they're just trying to do this all on themselves all by themselves they're not they're just not interested in in a relationship right now so let's get a message from them and see something that they want to say they're saying, let me take the lead. So yeah, this person's really saying, look, I'll come to you when I'm ready. You don't need to chase me. I am taking ownership of my healing journey. I'm doing this. You know, let me, let me really take the lead because I am going through an awakening and my head isn't clear enough to make a decision. So yeah, this person's really like, you know, I'm not ready to, to give to you. I'm still trying to decide the direction of my own life and I just can't even possibly think about moving forwards with another person right now when my life is still so unstable. But I am going through an awakening. So this person needs to know, like, hey, look, I'm changing. I am not the same person. I am not, you know, I am not as toxic. I... I am working on my issues and um, I'm really taking ownership for that but I, I need I need to have some space at this time. So let's see what's going to happen next. Is there going to be movement? Is there going to be progress? The Empress, the Nine of Pentacles. This is really about you doing your healing, you doing your work. So what's next is for you to start to enjoy yourself. I feel like for some of you, you are still acting like you're in a relationship with this person. Maybe you're being really loyal, you're refusing to date. And the Nine of Pentacles, this is my fun single lady. Like she's not a queen, she's got no responsibilities, but she's so abundant. She knows how to live her best life. And uh, that's great. So I feel like what's next here is for you to find yourself, for you to have fun. It's not about this person. They're saying, I'm going to lead things. When I'm ready, I'll come to you. But in the meanwhile, you need to be living your best life. You need to be, you know, with this, this Empress energy, this is about feeling empowered. It's about embracing your divine feminine energy, trusting that you will be a magnet for abundance and for love the more you embody it. So this is now a time for you to focus on yourself, Find out what you are passionate about. What is it you want to do? Because with this nine of pentacles, it's like you need to be having more fun. You know, what's next is just for you to find total enjoyment. Maybe even start a business. For Empress and the nine of pentacles is giving me strong business vibes. Um, so there's definitely things that you can work on in this time. So let's see what's going to happen next with this person specifically the star so there's a lot of releasing a lot of healing but again i still feel like you are the focus of this what's next really is for you to almost like let this go to give it space to grow ace of swords so this is good news um 
the star is telling you that you do you do have to release this so what's next is for you to let this connection go but with the ace of swords it's going to bring about a breakthrough there's lots of potential here for a conversation to take place but it's almost as if your guides don't want you to pin your your hopes and your dreams on that because you have to start living your life and there's just been so much attachment to this person that I do feel it has blocked you from having fun and your guides are, are encouraging you let it go find yourself because you'll either attract this person back when you two are aligned with each other or you're going to attract back something much better the ace of swords is about um breakthroughs it's a it's about communication it's about new beginnings successful new beginnings so whatever fresh start you have it's going to be successful but it comes after a time of empowerment and after a time of healing so with this star card it's about really deciding what are your dreams um you like one sign that you have done a lot of healing is when you are in a place where you're like, do you know what? I love this person very, very deeply, but I love myself more. And I am prepared and open to whatever is for my highest good. When you can love someone and let them go, that's when you know that you love yourself enough. Um, and that's a very difficult point to get to. And it took me a long, long time to do that. But it's it's changed my life. Honestly, when you can just make peace with the love that you feel for someone and just be like open to like, do you know what? Universe, whatever you have in store, I know I'm going to be so happy. So do it, bring it on, I'm ready. That's when, trust me, you'll attract something which will just blow you away. Whether it is this person coming back with like completely changed and transformed and you two reconnect in a healthy way or whether it is something new and that feels scary and some of you even hearing that message will be like maybe clicking off a video or like no nope, not listening to this um maybe you feel quite guarded about that that's okay that's okay it doesn't matter right now um you might feel a bit protective over this connection but deep down you know that that shows you where there could be some some attachments to this person and maybe like um a lack of self-love so work on that work on filling your cup up living your best life use this time to have fun trusting that either this will come back together and this person look let me take the lead this person will take the lead you don't need to or something new will happen but either way it's going to be an exciting breakthrough and it's going to be a wish come true Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. So let me know what resonated in the comments. Um, I hope this gave you some clarity on what's happening in your connection and you can you know, get some um, good advice which hopefully helps you shift your focus a little bit away from it and um, you know, get yourself to a place where you want to be. So yeah, let me know what resonates and thank you very much for watching this Pick A Card. I have loved recording this video for you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you and I will see you back here soon with another pick a card the next one i'm going to do is singles uh, a singles reading so what's next in love your next relationship that kind of thing so you might want to check that out i'll let you guys know when i'm doing that it'll be in the community section here on youtube and don't forget to follow me on instagram sacred space readings where i do regular updates there so on to group two Hi group two, so if you chose this gorgeous rough, rough citrine or the number two, then this is your reading. So I did start recording this and then the video cut out, so I'm just gonna go through what came through um, before. Luckily it wasn't too much. So I got the Wheel of Fortune and um, in reverse and the Eight of Cups. So it seems like this connection it keeps going round in circles. I feel like both of you have just experienced some kind of bad luck. There's been inconveniences, there's been little barriers. Um, this is a connection where you've been waiting for it to move forward. You've been waiting for things to change. But yeah, it just it just seems to keep going round as if like the wheel is broken. Um, you know, you're, you're still kind of waiting for like this breakthrough, this like stroke of good luck. It seems like, it seems like you've maybe had a lot of bad luck in this connection, if I'm being honest. 
And a lot of it feels outside of your control. Like you haven't been able to, you know, change things the way both of you wanted to. There could be a distance between you both. I do feel like it could be location, which is, you know, a barrier and causing some kind of stagnation. But I want to say this is a connection which is very spiritual. There's a lot of growth here for both of you. Um, both of you really do show each other lots of things um, that you need to do, that you, you want to do. So... So there's, there's something missing which is stopping this connection from moving forward, but it really it it really doesn't feel like a big thing. Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. I want to say that someone here feels like a little bit burdened. Maybe there's like it's work or money which is an issue because there's definitely a barrier. But at the same time, I do think this will come to an end. This is one of those where even though it's stagnant right now, as soon as that wheel does start moving in the right direction, it's going to pick up a lot of speed. So you've been very patient. The Knight of Pentacles, this has been a very, very slow connection. This has been one where it's been very repetitive. It's been up and down, up and down, waiting for that kind of next level of commitment, which just hasn't come about yet. But yeah, there's 10 of wands. Someone here is just feeling really burdened and really stressed. And that has definitely been what has been the block, what's been the barrier here. Um, and just cause for stagnation. Like someone who has just been burdened by their own issues and they haven't been able to kind of get things moving here. But let's see what's going on currently. So what's happening currently in this connection? Ace of Swords, good news. So I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. There's going to be communication. There's going to be that breakthrough. Five of Wands, and let's get one more. Knight of Cups. So currently, it feels like the two of you are preparing for some kind of big conversation because with this Five of Wands and the Knight of Cups, you may have more attention than you realize or this person could be worried about competition. They could be worried about who else is showing you affection. So I do think that, you know, they do want to act quite soon. This person doesn't want to miss out on you and they know that they've let their own issues get in the way. Um, and like I said, there's just been some bad luck in this connection. But with his five of wands, this person really wants to, to make sure that they come out on top. That knight of cups, it's huge. That knight of cups is really romantic, really wants to create progress in this connection. They really want to give you their love, show you their feelings, talk about how they feel. So what's going on currently is this, this five of wands is also preparation. It's like this person is preparing to, to move forward romantically. This person is getting ready to take that next step, but it's been a long road to getting this person ready. You know, they may have had all sorts of things happen to them which have just kind of made them put the brakes on when it came to relationships, but it feels like at last you are going to get that breakthrough. So definitely been slow to happen but sometimes good things are worth the wait so we're going to get a message from this person before we look into what's coming next because it seems like you're going to hear from them very very soon if you haven't already stop pushing me i need to make my own choices so yeah they're saying like i really need to be the one to decide when i'm ready i know we're both frustrated by this stagnation but i have to be fully prepared why won't you give me space I can't grow? My higher self is trying to reach you and we'll get one last message. Can you accept me as I am? So this person basically, I feel like they're coming forwards, but they're saying like, just accept this for what it is, accept me for, for who I am right now. My higher self is trying to give you that reassurance that you need because maybe I can't give you a lot of validation right now, but that is because I am trying to grow spiritually. I'm trying to make more empowering choices. I feel like this person has a lot of stress with money and with work and that's been the huge barrier here. That's what needs to change because 
it's their career which is really standing in the way and they know that maybe they haven't been doing a job that they love maybe they've been feeling very emotionally unfulfilled with work so they want to make those kind of changes which is then going to get the wheel moving again so let's have a look at what's going to happen next King of Cups, Four of Wands, and I can't help but smile at this. Um, I'm hearing a countdown, like three, two, one, take off, and it really feels like this whole rocket is about to be launched. It feels very big, it feels very exciting, and definitely had a massive build up. So it's definitely been a very long wait here. But the King of Cups, for Four of Wands, this person is going to make a commitment. What's going to happen next? They are going to find their balance. They're going to make their offer. This person is, you know, when they feel ready, when they feel like they are the king of cups, where they are emotionally mature and they are ready to, to settle down, they absolutely will. The four of wands, this person is actually someone who you could marry, someone who you could live with, have a family with. You know, the four of wands is 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 union. It's a really, really happy relationship. It's something to celebrate. And it's, you know, engagements. It's all the exciting things which come with a committed relationship. So for good news, what's next? It is gonna happen. It is gonna happen for you two. You're gonna get through this stagnation. This is a temporary pause. It's maybe feels permanent because of how long this has been you know repeating for but ultimately this is someone who eventually will make that commitment you know they they want to be with you as much as you want to be with them there's just been lots of barriers and i feel like this person is tired of the headache like they know that their life has been just going round and round in circles they know that you're frustrated and they're going to do whatever they can to like get things moving forwards here's the headache so yeah this person what's next they really do want to work on like their fears and their anxieties and just get rid of this headache because there's been so much stress which has blocked them and created stagnation in this connection and they just can't keep letting this stress take over their life i think this person doesn't necessarily know how to deal with all their responsibilities maybe they feel kind of burned down and quite heavy really easily um but yeah they're going to come out with this they are going to end this cycle of just kind of like anxiety and depression and fear and stress whatever it is um but yeah that that king of cups and the four of wands what beautiful energy to to get to really confirm that yeah this person does intend to be with you they want peace they want harmony they want love in their life and they know that when it comes to love you're what they want you know they don't want anyone else they want to settle down with you they want to create a home with you and um, i just cut my must my my message deck and we got this message i need to have more fun so this person when they are in a higher vibration when they are enjoying themselves more and less stressed this is what they're going to fix they are going to try and get the two of you back on track they're going to try and get things moving forwards um and they're definitely going to talk to you about this breakthrough talk to you about a new beginning discuss what both of you are looking for and um, i do feel like they're going to make you an offer which you're just not going to want to refuse even if it has felt like a very long time of waiting you're going to be really quite excited about this Okay, guys, thank you for joining me. Um, let me know in the comments what resonated. I love hearing your guys' feedback. Um, and don't forget, if you did want to buy either my Blunt Truth message deck, or I also have the expansion pack, the Lust Edition, which is sexual messages from your person, um, then you can get both of those on my Etsy store. The link is in the description box below. If you've got any questions at all, just drop me an email, readings at sacredspace.co.uk. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching today and I will see you back here soon with another pick a card and more readings, um, more collective readings as well. Hi group three, so if you chose this group then you chose our um, clear quartz, rough clear quartz. So let's see what your messages are. 
We're going to start out by finding out, you know, what kind of happened in this connection to cause the stagnation. Because for some reason, group three, I feel like you might not even be aware. You might not even know what happened. So let's see the cards, first of all. The Empress and the Six of Cups. This person came back to you. This person literally returned to you and then things were just suddenly stagnant again. It's interesting. I feel like you had already separated from this person and you'd done so much work on yourself. And then, yeah, they just like, they came back into your life and you thought, oh, wow, okay, maybe like this is it. And then, I don't know, it was just a massive letdown again. It just felt like this was a big disappointment that you just didn't anticipate. You thought you were reconciling with this person and it didn't happen or it, it happened and then it broke apart again. Um, you know, I feel like you're almost like stuck. Like you, you don't understand why this person then kind of moved in like a different direction or you, you don't know where this stagnation come from because as far as you are concerned, you and this person are a divine counterparts, twin flames, soulmates, whatever it is. Like, it feels like you definitely feel like you and this person are meant to be. There's so many synchronicities about this person. So many, you know, times the two of you have shared how you feel. I feel like both of you have expressed how much you do care about each other. And um, there's a past life connection. You definitely feel all of those like layers of history. But yeah, you know what happened here? Basically, you thought you were reconciling and then it just didn't, it didn't come to fruition. So let's find out what's going on now. So what's actually happened? Oh, if I've got hiccups, what's actually happening? I get this person's tired. Um, Ten of Swords. I just, I just literally have seen this person's battery being drained. This person's tired. Very exhausted. So what's actually going on in this connection right now? This Ten of Swords is obviously not in a good place. I think you feel very betrayed by this person. This person feels totally exhausted like completely wiped out there's lots of questions about what the other person is doing so both of you are wondering you know what's going on with them there's still a lot of love here i'm going to be honest i still feel a lot of emotion ace of swords this is quite in all three groups um ten of swords ace of swords what's happening right now it's like you're waiting for clarity because you just you you don't actually know what's going on so with the ace of swords i think both of you are still thinking about each other a lot both of you still have an idea of this connection in your head but there could have been a lot of arguments between you both because i do feel that there was almost this tension which was building up and it just bubbled over and maybe this person just thought you know what they did like a complete u-turn like they were all in then they were all out and you were like what on earth happened because it could have even been the smallest little conflict it could have been like the tiniest thing which was said and it just made this person be like oh, i'm not i don't have the energy i'm not doing it so you know i completely get where your confusion is coming from because you feel like this was a massive overreaction from the other person and what's happening now is i feel this conflict is still going on i think someone here is still holding on to the past someone here still feels very betrayed by the other person look ten of wands three of swords you guys have really broke apart i feel this reconciliation just didn't happen and right now there is so much heartache and healing and like it just feels stressful ten of swords and the ten of wands this feels like both of you are finding this very difficult to deal with but at the same time this cycle kind of needed to close out it feels like the two of you were maybe reconciling but it just wasn't the right right time so there needed to be a little bit more a little bit more space between you both let's actually get a message from this person so let's see what it is that they want to say to you so much but they just don't know how to say it I know what I need to do. So this person, I feel, is asking for space and they're saying, look, 
I do know what I have to do, but I am undecided about us. I need time to think this through. Don't rush me. So they're saying like, I love you so much. You are everything for me. But at the same time, I just don't know if we are good for each other. Give me some time. Please don't try and rush this. I'm going through an awakening. So yeah, you've definitely triggered this person's spiritual awakening. I'm in a dark place. Spirit is sending me light, really confirming that Ten of Swords energy. Like this person is very, very deep in a struggle right now. And as a result, I'm avoiding our connection. This person, they're really, they need to avoid this. They need to escape this because they were coming to you from a place of like, wanting to be with you but not having done the healing now i just split the deck and look what i got i'm going to tell you how i truly feel so this person does want to talk to you they, there's so much they want to say about how they feel but at the same time they want to make sure that this time when they return or if they return i don't know why i said when it's because they're ready because when they tried to reconcile with you before was not the right time and they realised, they realised that it, it wasn't the right time for either of you. you they tried to rush it, basically. So let's see what's going to happen next here. Three of Cups. You're going to meet up. You're going to meet up with this person face to face. Is this planned? Is this spontaneous? I don't know, but I know that you're going to see them in person. This is not, um, it's not texting, it's not FaceTime or Instagram DMs, whatever it is, like this is, you are going to see them face to face. You're gonna look into this person's eyes again and I feel so overwhelmed with emotion channeling this message. Um, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a lot to take in, but yeah, this person, like you are, you're, you're gonna see them again. And I think for some of you, that's, that's gonna make you cry. I think for some of you, you may be given up on this because you were so confused about what happened, about why it suddenly didn't come together. But you are going to see this person again, four of wands. I feel like this is a twin flame connection or like, I don't like using labels because I know people hold on to them and it can create like unhealthy attachments. But I just feel like this is, this is twin flame energy. This is like, it's intense, it's so intense. But you are gonna see this person again in that four of wands. There's every chance for a reunion here if it is right for you both. But I think the big decision for the two of you is like, I don't know how much time it's gonna take. I don't know how, how much time is gonna pass before you get to reconnect, before you get to see each other. And when you do see this person, all those feelings are gonna flood back for both of you. Four of Wands, I actually feel like you guys are really going to, you know, balance things out. I also think this person is going to want to date you. They're going to want to meet up. They're going to want to see you more. So they, they're going to try and create some future plans here with you. Page of Cups. It will take time, but this person is going to tell you how they feel. The Page of Cups, they're going to communicate their emotions. They're going to tell you how much they care about you, how much they love you. This Page of Cups, very romantic, very flirty. So... I see a lot of nice things happening in the future for you both. Um, again, I'm not giving any time frames because this group, I honestly, I honestly do not know. It will be as long as it needs to be. Like how long is a piece of string? Um, but yeah, this person's gonna come in very flirty. They're gonna be so excited when they do get to see you. And it could really just, it could balance out. This could work out group three. This could work out. Nine of Swords. There's worries, there's fears about the future. Someone, both of you, you know, you are scared about what lies ahead or about what doesn't lie ahead. You, you have questions and anxieties and that's completely normal. Both of you are going to be getting so many dreams about each other. I feel like you're really gonna be connecting in that dream space. You're gonna be facing so many of your fears. Um, but yeah, Knight of Pentacles, this is gonna be slow. But it, there is going to be movement. You know, you are going to have a chance to 
reunite with this person, at least date them and meet up with them and, you know, talk to them about how both of you are feeling. But Spirit kind of isn't revealing too much about the future here, Group 3. It seems like you have to just trust this connection and kind of live in the moment, but not forget, like, what you want and... You know, the guidance here is really to get out of your head and make sure that you're still grounded because it's very easy to live in like a bit of a fantasy with this connection. So make sure you are grounding yourself regularly because you'll need it. Um, but yeah, hopefully this has given you some clarity on your connection group free. Let me know in the comments what resonated. And if you want to buy my Blunt Truth Message deck, you can do so on my Etsy store. The link is in the description box below. And I've also got the expansion pack, the Lust Edition. So you can get both of those on my Etsy store. Any questions, drop me an email at readings at sacredspace.co.uk. But thank you for watching today and I'll be back here soon with more readings.